x, sorry, y is equals to um, x times x times x and then x. Okay, so this is the function. Okay, and then I put a semicolon at the back. So I think you are well aware of how to write this function by now. We've gone through the function topic. So let's see how can we draw a flow chart from here. By right, we should uh, we, uh, we should create the flow chart first before we write the function, but uh, we can do it in parallel. It means that we can do it together instead of one separately before the other. So in this case, we are we have some idea what the function looks like, but let's say we want to document it, we want to show how it works, then we should draw, we can draw a flow chart from that. So this is what I'm doing right now. So I create the function first and then I, I create the flow chart for it. But you if you want to plan even if you want to do it the right way, it means that you have to create the flow chart first before you write the function. Let me save this first. So I don't lose it. I save it as cube M, save it in my on my desktop. I get an error there, but I think by now you know that you, you can just ignore this because you're not using it the right way. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't work, it still works. I'm just not using it the right way through that by clicking on run. So, how do we draw this? I'm going to open PowerPoint and I'm going to share a PowerPoint screen. Okay, uh, I think by now you should see this. Uh, we should always begin with a start and then it always ends with an end block. So that's the first thing that we can add. So here, uh, let's say I draw, not draw, insert, put in the shape, um, circle, and I draw this. And then I uh, don't usually like the colors there. We should keep it simple, black and white. So I would change it to maybe remove the color. No fill, and then the outline is black because right now it's a bit blue. Okay, and then I just type inside here. I think I'm just going to remove this one first. Click on this. Okay, never mind, I can just put it here. Right, and then type inside here. And that's my start symbol. And then just to make it stay the same, um, stay in one place, I'll just group it. So once it's grouped, I can just move it around the start and the circle together. And then I want to, I need to create the end circle too. So I'll just copy this and I'll paste and I have another one. So now start and end is there. Then we can look at the, we can look at the actual function. So we see how many inputs are there here? Uh, for us to use this function. Anybody can answer that? How many inputs are there for this function? One. Yeah, what's that input? What's it called? Uh, the x? Yes, correct. So actually this is a very simple function. So um, but then I just want to start off with a simple example. So if you look at this diagram just now, we see that these are the inputs. The symbol for inputs are like this, and you will see in the video group. So in this case, we know there's two inputs, B and R. Uh, but for the function, the simple function right now is just X. So we just need to create one uh, diagram, uh, one block. And I'll choose a, what's a parallelogram, what's a good one here. There it is. Okay, and then I have to modify this a bit like just now. And then I type side here is x and then I group it. One input and the process um, after adding the input there and the process is this equation here and it stops. So uh, the process instead of a okay, this is an input if it's a parallelogram like this uh, then it is an input. But if it's a process, like an equation, then it should be a rectangle. So I'll add in a box. 
this box do the same thing and then by writing it y equals to x equals to x plus uh, sorry times x times x that's the process and put it in the middle there and group it this is a process or a calculation and then it ends and it returns um if it returns let's see what does it look like a return will also look like uh, the input so this is basically input and output the same symbol here so this would plot right but for us it would um, display the result um, y so it's the same as this one, copy, paste, put it here, Y. And now we've uh, drawn all of the necessary blocks and now we just need to connect, connect it using arrows. And I would just insert, search for the arrow symbol, this one, and I connect this with this. Usually I like to make it a bit thicker because the default is very thin. So I'll just change it to be one and then I change the color to black instead of blue. Okay. Oops. Now I'll just copy and then paste. I just need to arrange it a bit here and there. Paste. And then another one at the end. Paste. And now we have our uh, algorithm flowchart for that simple function. So compare side by side between the code and the flowchart first, and then see how that works. And then register that um, yourself before I move on.